What's cracking, everybody? New video, first thing, before I start running my mouth. <clears throat> New video. Apologize if there's no green screen, but it's way too hot for me to be wrestling with the green screen and standing in front of the lights. So, we're just going to shoot from the hip right now. And those of you that have been around from day one, there's the camera I'm supposed to be looking at. Um, those of you that have been around since day one, you know this is old school dubs right here laid back just chopping it up with you so yesterday um i put out the video um regarding the interview that swifty blue had right and um surprisingly it, it it caught fire a lot of people were into it um and as you can see from the the thumbnail and the title of the video um another rapper reached out to me that rapper, very talented rapper, any means out of Cudahy, LA. And, um, you know, he reached out to me and, and, and honestly, you know, I didn't know what to expect. I just saw the name. I've seen him on, on, on American Cholo, but I didn't know. I, I figured right away, I was like, oh, he's going to get at me about, you know, this thing with Swifty Blue. So, you know, I was at work immediately. I stepped out of the shop and called. But um, there was just, we played phone tag for a second and then um, he called me back um, during my break, man. And, and I, I wanted to, I asked him if I could share our conversation and um, it was, it was a really good conversation. It was um, something I, I was schooled. And so that's why I want to share it with you guys. Eh? So any means... You guys, you know, please look him up on Instagram. Um, check him out on, on YouTube. Watch all his videos. He's very talented. My bad, my battery's dying, you know what I mean? Very talented rapper, man. Um, had any means done the interview, had he been the one that was interviewed, he would have basically gotten a similar point across with the interviewer, but in a less, um, negative way. You know, I, I don't think Swifty Blue meant to sound the way he sounded. Um, I think he forgot maybe that, you know, this is social media and it's going to be out there and everybody's going to see it. And he maybe should have just, um, put some thought to what he was saying and how he wanted to convey his message, right? Um, but I don't know. I can't speak for him. Um, I stand by my video, but I also have to say that after speaking with any means, I have to um, recognize that I don't know the industry, right? Um, so any means... Those of you that don't know, I, again, look him up. I'll, I'll try to put a. I'll try try to put a link. When you see the little links pop up, it's called a card. When you see it pop up on the screen, after you're done watching the video, go back to that part of the video and click on it and it'll send you over there. So I'll try to put something in here so you can see his music, uh, listen to his music, see his video. But what any means that told me today is he was signed to two labels that were uh, black owned labels. And he told me that due to the two experiences that he had during those two um, episodes, he would never do it again. He will work with black artists. He has no problem working with black artists. And I think that's the part where Swifty Blue made it kind of like, you know, it just, it could have been expressed a whole lot better, man. And nobody would have had to make a video or nobody would have felt compelled to make a video. So from what I gathered, again, any means and I didn't have a long conversation because I had to go back in the shop. I will be conversing with him again, uh, staying in contact with him when I can, when he can. Uh, I know we're both very busy, but. What any means learned from his two experiences with two different black labels was they don't know how to push a Mexican rapper. 
they don't know how to push their their music uh, my understanding was any means that, that during one of those times, maybe it was both, but during one of those times, he had a big album. He had a big uh, song out. And it was on the on the radio, and it was getting a lot of play. And it, it just wasn't promoted um, in a way that's understanding of how to push that type of uh, artist. And, and at the same time... Um, I kind of get it where it's still new to the raza, right? This push, you know, raza getting really good at rapping and, you know, there's a few dudes that are stepping up and getting recognition. So it's going to be a process, but um, any means was telling me about uh, King Little G, probably the most uh, well-known rapper, uh, that we have and that I guess he's on a label that's more Raza oriented and he's got a nationwide tour and he, you know, he's being promoted with an understanding of who his audience is. Um, and any means said that that's the kind of situation he would like to be in. And I get that, you know, as an artist, whatever it is, if you're a singer, if you're a rapper, whatever it is, you want to get into um, a situation where whoever you're with is going to push. See, like, I I don't know. Um, I just, my business sense comes from um, selling dope. You know what I mean? Like, um, I don't know. I just see it like if you sign somebody, you sign them because... You want to make money. And so, you know, there's times you have to spend money to make money. And it seems like with the Raza, maybe these these labels aren't willing to spend that money because they don't know if they're going to get it back. And I don't understand why you would sign somebody in the first place then. Um, some people felt that I was a little bit rough on Swifty Blue, and I, I really don't think I was. Um... I think that what he said, look, if we want other communities to discipline, however they discipline, discipline people when they are um, disrespectful to us, then we have to lead by example as well, right? Um you know, somebody got in the comment section and, and they told me that Swifty Blue made a very dangerous um, post on Instagram. I don't know. Hopefully it's not true. Um, you know, there's certain words you just don't throw around lightly. And if he threw that word around, it, it just makes things worse for him. And um, I think that's just more evidence that... Um, there's a lack of education there. You know, he might be a good dude, just just not, <laughs> not properly educated. You know, and 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 the conversation that I had with any means, I, I I wish he would have been the one in that interview. You know, and and if you guys want, maybe he and I will um will do something together where you can see. Because I, you know, that's one thing about me. Like, I'm trying to tell you guys about the conversation I had with him while also not wanting to uh, misconstrue, misconstrue anything that he had said. I don't want to change words. And, but but my understanding of, of our quick conversation was this. He had been on two labels. And those deals did not work out for him. And it wasn't that it, it was it was bad people. It was they didn't know how to promote Raza. And in our conversation, I, I, I told any means, just like I've told you guys. Before, they didn't want they, whoever they are, right? Weren't going to let us on ABC or NBC or CBS you know, um, Interscope Records, you know, and that's fine. 
they had that control. But now when you have um, YouTube and, you know, you have the means to promote yourself and get yourself out there with hustle, you're going to get more money out of doing it that way than if you're working with these other companies. You can still make your way regardless of who you are, you know, and I always look at the way Nipsey Hussle did it. And I tell people, shit, that's the blueprint right there. Nipsey, Nipsey didn't sign a deal until what? Right before he passed away. Correct me if I'm wrong. And so he was able to make a lot more money doing it his way than doing it the, the big label way. Any means didn't call me to back up Swifty Blue. Let me just, you know, put that out there. That wasn't our conversation. His 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 reason to call me was basically to lace me up on something that I didn't know. That I didn't take into consideration. But then again, there wasn't a need for me to understand those things when I was reacting to... Um, you know, when Swifty Blue was saying what he was saying, it I felt and I feel it set back Rasa. When we're trying to say, hey, there is no fucking beef no more, man. You know, if there's if there's neighborhood beef, that's gangbanging shit. But th nobody's doing that 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 race word shit. You know, this is a different time. Um, you know, we just got through whack 100 doing that thing where he was like i'll never sign nobody from down south and then um you know swifty blue comes out and 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 he basically made whack 100 look right and neither one of them are right whack wasn't right and swifty blue wasn't right you know every artist has uh their abilities and they have a choice with those abilities to sign with whoever, you know, the best option. But now I'm understanding uh, there's very few for Rasa. But again, there's YouTube, you know, you can make it happen your way. Anyways, I'll go ahead and bring that to a close. Um, you guys stay safe, stay smart and tell the ones you love that you love them. Right. I'm out.